Hee <laughs> hee! Annie! What's up, guys? How is everyone doing today? Hope you had a good day. I am home early, as you can tell, so we had a great day. Testing. Testing? Still nothing? Okay. Maybe it's just you, Annie. I was like, everything's on on my end. <laughs> did, did you check if it was muted? <laughs> yeah, sometimes you go on and it's muted. Okay, Annie, we'll be here. Hi, Steam. Okay, I was like, what? Technical difficulties? No. Hi, Cookie. Who else is in here? Dust, Ryan. I'm ready to poop. Best username ever still. A week who? Hello. Yeah, Sammy's outside. I'm all dolled up a little bit. Yep, I had a little bit of time. I got home a bit early. Thought I'd pull out the skull earrings since tis the week of Halloween. Yes. Should put my little squash back up here because we're being festive. <laughs> there we go. I promise we are going to cook that one day soon. I think it's almost there. Closing the browser did it. Tricked ya. <laughs> okay guys this is actually going to be quite a quick stream which i think will be fun for all of us because usually it's like wow this just took like three hours for kate to make it's like do i really want to try and make that at home so tonight i want to show you guys how to make seriously something quick and easy for dinner and it's so good that even sam says he doesn't need any protein with it. He's like, nah, I just want the soup. I was like, really? Like, are you sure? And he said, yeah. So just saying, it's a one pot wonder. And it is like one of my favorite, favorite soups for fall and winter time, but it's also good in summer. Why not? There's no one saying that we can't have soup in the summertime. Plus, it's, apparently it's supposed to cool you down too. Okay, so vegetarian slash vegan soup, except I'm not gonna go that route because you guys know me. And I'm gonna use the leftover chicken broth that we had when we made pozole last week. I was like, that's gonna add so much good flavor into this soup, but it can easily be vegan or vegetarian if you just use vegetable broth. A bowl of hot chocolate. I love how you eat your hot chocolate out of a bowl. Sounds very intense. <laughs> a lot of slurping involved. You have some pork chops thawing. Nice, Annie. That's gonna be yummy. Thanks, poop. Ryan, you guys just got power back after 48 hours. Last time was 55. What the heck are they doing? That's crazy. That's been going on forever. <laughs> we making the young Thai coconut veggie soup. Not tonight, Annie, not tonight. We're making something even simpler. Just a coconut squash and ginger soup with a little bit of mirepoix in it. It's one of Sammy and I's favorite soups to eat always and it's quick, quick. So simple, you can ease easily do it either in a blender to finish it off or if you have like one of the fun immersion blenders you can use that as well so yes blended soup today guys we don't often do this on stream it's gonna be good hey torino solar and wind power are our friends yeah it's so true so so true it's the winds they lied to you guys the first time. You're actually worried a huge tree would fall this time. 
What? A 300 foot tree fall in his house? That's crazy, Ryan. Well, take care, man. Be safe. Be aware. Let us know if you need anything. That's crazy. That's, that's a little bit of an issue here as well. I mean, the trees don't really have anywhere to root into the rock. So the roots are all very shallow and they can easily fall over if it gets too windy. <laughs> yeah, Cali is paradise. Beware. Okay, so I have linked a recipe. And this was actually posted in the Cook with Kate Discord from one of our fellow viewers. Her name is Suzanne Lakes Cake. And she wanted to share this recipe with us. It's spiced coconut carrot soup. So something very, very similar to what I make at home. It looks even better than what I'm going to make, if I'm being honest. Because I didn't really want to link you guys a PDF. That's kind of hard to do. So feel free to check out that recipe before we start. Basically, very similar ingredients to what we're making tonight. That one's a little bit more fancy, I will say that. There's a couple more ingredients, because this is literally, other than this, this is pretty much all we're using for dinner tonight. So not many ingredients means it shouldn't take very long to make, right? Hey, Dust. Won't the butternut squash take a long time to bake? That's the trick, is we actually just put everything in the pot and simmer it together. So everything cooks together and then we just blend it. So instead of trying to roast it in like 45 minutes, it'll cook quicker in the liquid. We cube it first, exactly. Because we all know if we cut something smaller, it's going to take less time to cook. So a little bit more prep involved maybe, but then less cook time. Yeah, more surface area for the heat to hit it. Exactly, Annie. Oh, Cookie, you made your Guinness beef stew for the in-laws. It took three hours. It always does. But that is like one of the best things to do on a Sunday is like get something going on the stove top that you can just like smell all day and watch bubble. So good. Okay, so we got grandma's soup pot here on the stove. You guys know the deal. So for this recipe, we are going to prep all of our vegetables first and then start sauteing our mirepoix. So celery, carrot, onion is our mirepoix. So we'll dice that, oh, about one inch size. We don't have to go super small because it's getting cooked first. And then we can work on our ginger. So because we're blending this, and then I'll also take it a step further and pass it through a fine mesh strainer. Then we don't really have to worry about the ginger hairs, but if you're really worried about them, I would say grate the ginger first and then take that, but we're just going to slice this up really thin and that way we can get the maximum flavor out of it. I put a couple of chili peppers in in case you wanted to make it spicy, you don't have to, but I think this will be good for us tonight. And then obviously our nice butternut squash. I would say these are probably the best bang for the buck because there's not a ton of seed and pulp that you have to scoop out of them. So it's a lot of usable fruit in there. And then once all of our veggies are in the pot, then we can cover it with both the coconut milk and either vegetable or chicken stock. So few ingredients. Um, you can add a couple of spices if you want. Maybe we'll feel a little fancy later when everything's sauteing and the hard work is done. Maybe we'll add in a little bit of coriander or cumin because using coconut milk is we kind of get an Indian take on things, East Indian. Did I happen to see the short film? Yes, yes, I watched it this morning <laughs> on the way to work. It was really good. I did reply back to you in Discord. I thought it was really well done. 
And I liked, I guess, the aspect that they filmed it from, is it really was from the chef's aspect and just the sounds and how things look around you. Very, very cool. Oh, you could easily add chicken to this, I would say, would be the most versatile. Uh, beef would be pretty heavy. And then I could also say that fish would be really good in it. Maybe like a little bit of cod or something. Okay, let's peel our carrots. These little guys. So a couple of orange ingredients going into the soup today. The carrots will add a little bit more sweetness and obviously a deeper orange color than the squash will. But the squash has great thickening power. Nike, the gray syrup bottle, I like it. You just got home, Annie, nice. Yeah, we got home early. But then we're starting a very large job this week that we'll probably be at for a month, I'll say. It's a whole basement, I'm pretty sure, that got flooded. And I think they had to rip the walls either two feet or four feet up. So we have to replace all of that in the whole basement. Sam and I picked up 47 sheets of drywall today on the way home. <laughs> the van was a little bit heavy. Every time we like went around a corner, it's just like, bonk, just like slight little movements because it was literally packed tight. It had an inch to move in the back of the van. We stuffed it, but it was still just slightly making it move around the corner. The first time it happened, I was like, whoa, what was that? <laughs> Sam's like, ah, I see this is your first time traveling with a heavy load. <laughs> oh yeah, Sam I think posted how the gazebo turned out. Pretty sure he posted in Discord today. We got it finished this weekend. It looks so good. My parents even donated some of their old patio lights to us so we could string them on the inside. Really loving the cozy vibe in it. If you guys wanna check it out, it is on Discord. All right, I'm just gonna give this celery a quick rinse because it always has a little bit of dirt in the bottom here. And then we'll start chopping. And I think we're just going to have a little bit of bread on the side to dip with the soup or just eat with the soup. Nan bread would always be good with this as well. Yeah, fun photos. Yeah, it looks super good. So now I think next weekend they're going to start building the new table to fit both of the eggs. And actually this Saturday, guys, is we're doing kind of our first round of R&D. So research and development for the food truck is we have posted on the town, <laughs> this sounds funny for me to say, the town Facebook page. And some people are interested in trying some of Sam's smoked meat. So they're gonna come over this Saturday and do like a little sampling. We're not gonna charge them, but we'll just like leave a little jar if they wanna leave a tip for the chef. 
they can. But it's starting. It's starting now. Crazy. So we don't have to be super consistent with the sizes of our veggies right now because this is blended. They should be pretty close to the same size, but we don't have to be as consistent as if we were doing a broth soup. So cutting all of our long vegetables into four to six inch lengths before we start chopping them. Hey, Aviator, how are you? You haven't heard of this one? It is one of my favorites. And it's so easy to feed to your vegan and vegetarian friends. They'll love you. And it's so good that even Sam says he doesn't need to eat meat with it. How many pounds was he smoking per week? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, word is out. They want Sammy's meat. We're doing a bone and pork shoulder this weekend for everyone. So we're gonna do a smoked pork shoulder and just do like really simple sandwiches to start. And then go from there. So I'm gonna say the pork shoulder will be around like eight to 10 pounds. But I mean, if we wanna do the Thursday night market in the summer, we would probably do two briskets each Thursday. So if each brisket was 20 pounds, like 40 pounds of meat, if we could. That would be the most ideal spot for us to get started just because it literally is a two minute drive down the road. The market is so, so close. Can you get used green eggs for a decent price? Yes, but I would suggest against that because then your warranty is void. So green eggs come with a lifetime warranty, which is part of why they are so expensive initially to buy. But if anything goes wrong, they'll replace the entire thing for the entire life of it. Obviously there's a few things that they won't but if anything with the ceramic part goes wrong, they will send you a new one. And I think that is so worth it. I don't think it transfers. I don't think it transfers as far as I know. Mmm, crackling, yes. Cracklin's always good. Yeah, you might, you might. I mean, everything that we've seen here for people selling used ones is they're trying to sell it for like more than they're charging in the store. And it's like, what are you guys doing? This does not make sense. <laughs> Nike, oh, wow, wow. Okay, garlic ginger. Little deer field garlic, so cute. He even smokes it. Yeah. I wonder if the neighbors will start to knock on the door once we have two of those things fired up in the back. No one's knocked on the door yet. Yeah, load the wood automatically. We need to build a little robot, Annie. You should get your uh, physics class on that. <laughs> class, we need to build a robot to load wood into a smoker. <laughs> it can be done. I believe it. Oh, 
Although we don't really have to load more into it. That's the thing with the egg, is you can fit easily enough fuel, so charcoal, to burn for at least 12 hours or more. Like we've gone for 12 hours already and there was still enough fuel to go longer after we stopped. So probably at least 14. And you shouldn't really be smoking anything more than 14 hours anyways. That would be quite a long time. These are the smallest little garlic cloves. Season two, what? It starts on November 1st. I am also excited now, Aviator. It's such a good show, hey? It's so good, Cookie. We really, really enjoyed it. So sticky. That's when you know the garlic's good. It sticks to your fingers. It's like sugary. <laughs> Is it what she said, Nike? Is it? Yeah, easy mode aviator, right? I'm pretty sure we might have done that. Okay, ginger time. Let's take these two nubbies off. Peel those up in a sec. Trim that piece. And that, we're going heavy, heavy on the ginger. Okay, now we just gotta peel it first and then we'll slice it all. This ginger got a butt. I don't know what's going on there. I better cut that off. <laughs> TOS, I don't know. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Cut the butt off. Nothing to see here. If we use the back of the paring knife, you should have less waste. Just be careful, right? Because then the blade is facing out. Just kind of shave it. You can also use the back of a spoon if you don't want to be as dangerous as this. Oh no, get out of there. What's going on over here? Okay, one, see that's not very much waste. Yeah, shave it off, Nike. Last piece, cut that big nub off first. I, yeah, I don't really know, Cookie, what the nutritional value is in the skin. I mean, I hope we're not taking everything out. I 
I guess if we are blending this, we can always strain it out afterwards if we're really worried about that. But I think it's just gonna clog up the strainer too much, so I don't wanna fool around with it. I'd rather just peel it. I think we still get lots of benefit from the ginger itself. I hope so. I've never thought about it. Pork chops are in the oven. Annie, you're moving fast. Oh no, you're gonna be done dinner before I am. In the bag. Oh, in my bag again? Yeah. It's in your bag. Okay. Sammy's looking for stuff. How are yeah, you doing? That's what everyone's saying, but all I did was put earrings on. My hair is always up. Sammy's checking on me. Spying through the window. Thanks, Dust. Yeah, it's a really comfy shirt. Okay. Let's shave the ginger into nice thin pieces and then it will blend really easily. I think we're gonna do this in the blender blender, not the immersion blender, just because I think the big blender will get it to a more smooth consistency. Whereas the immersion blender, as, as much fun as it is to use all the time, it doesn't give you quite as smooth of a blend. Good amount of ginger, as you can see, it's like half the amount of onions. Okay, I think it's safe for us to get this stuff slowly sauteing in the soup pot as we finish prepping our squash. So maybe to follow the coconut theme, we can use a little bit of coconut oil to saute our veggies. I think that'll be really good. Bring everything together. Oh, wine time, Annie, nice. So I'm gonna turn the pot on to medium high heat. You just want a touch of color on the vegetables. The good stuff. Coconut oil. It's the good fat. Or so they say. Just want enough to cover the bottom of the pot. We don't want anything to stick. You will soon be infusing some. Nice. Yeah, I love how you don't have to put it in the fridge. Totally. I mean, as long as you use it up relatively quickly, because at some point it, it will probably go rancid. Okay, let's peel our squash while we're waiting for that to heat up. Garlic we could even leave whole like that. We don't really have to cut it down any farther because once again, we are blending this. So let the blender do the work. I see what they do. I see. So it's like, oh, this is where the sticker was. Looks like a really great squash. Peel the sticker off. What is that? That's false advertising. <laughs> yeah, they would do that, right? <laughs> Ooh, I love red wine with mushrooms. I will say that, like butter, garlic, and herbs. 
And then red wine, so good. I would say white wine is also good though. You just need something a little bit acidic, I think. Soy sauce is good, but it's quite salty, right? So just be careful with that. But it would be really good if you're going like down an Asian inspired route with your meal. A little bit of soy sauce, maybe mirin. So rice wine instead of traditional wine. So slippery when you peel it. The squash just starts sweating. Crazy. The cheapest, best mushrooms are probably cremini's for sauteing. But if you can get like chanterelles or morels or anything like that. I mean, that is the best, but cremies are definitely better than buttons. And bite-sized pieces, I think, are always the best. I'm gonna stick with that. Okay, let's put some of our stuff in this pot. It's starting to smoke, so I know it's nice and hot. Turn the hood vent on. We're cooking, guys. We are cooking. So I'll go with the onions and then ginger first, and we'll do the garlic with those things. We want that sizzle, that happy, happy sizzle. Hey, Aviator, gifted the sub by Annie. Thanks Annie for gifting the sub two months in a row. Annie, you've used your homebrew mixed in mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms and beer is good as well. Like I said, there's not really rules. Just depends on what you're serving it with. Holy, that smells good. Move that over. Just get a spoon. Onion and coconut oil, really good smells. And obviously when the ginger starts heating up too. And I think we should definitely add a couple pinches of salt to this as it's cooking. Just because this is a straight vegetable soup, so we want to also season it as we cook it. Not just at the end. So we're going to cook this down for probably close to 10 minutes. Before we start adding any liquid to the mixture. So once this starts looking about golden brown on the outside of the onion, then I can add the carrot, celery, and garlic to it. And let that saute for a couple minutes, and then the squash, and then we add our liquid, and any aromatics as well. Ooh, Ryan, sorry, I did miss your message. Thanks for reposting it. Chat was crazy. I have not done any cooking with essential oils, but I do have a book that Sam's mom gave me with a bunch of essential oils that has recipes in it. So like using a cinnamon essential oil to put into cookies or something like that is, I, 
would say it would work for sure. Oh, that's amazing. Hey, Rook. I'm trying to see how this is browning up. I'm just going to turn it down a touch. Down to a more medium heat. Yeah, for sure, Ryan. I will let you know that. I should start to do that. Woohoo! How are you doing today? Did you see my Discord message that your package came in? Okay, we got to tip and top the squash. And then I always like to cut it around here, like where, sorry, forgot to do that where the bulbous end kind of stops, that's where the seeds will stop too. And then the rest of the squash is all meat. So like that's just a nice chunk of squash. And then I'll cut this part in half. It's just easier to cut it when it's a big chunk like that. So we gotta scoop the seeds out. We're gonna give our veggies a little stir on the way by. Nothing browning up yet, but I think it will get there soon. You guys hear the popping? We're popping. Oh. It took a few extra days. Okay, we were wondering, we were like, do we have to pay extra for customs? But I don't think so. I think we're all good. I have not opened it yet. I wanted to open it on stream with everyone. Guys, Rook sent us some goodies. Just did what it told you. That's probably the best thing to do. That's the best case scenario. These sizzle sounds coming from the stove. Insane. Gotta check this out. Oh yeah, those are the sounds we want. So it's starting to brown up. Now I'm going to add the carrot, celery, and garlic. Best looking squash. Okay, let's go over real quick. So just, just starting to turn brown on the onion but we also want to cook this veg a little bit with it. Give that a nice little stir. Mix it in with everything else. Also get it nicely coated with oil as well. Smelling really good now that the ginger and onion are browning up. Caramelization has begun. Okay, so for this part of the squash, I like to lay it on the flat side always and then just cut little wedges out of it. Like that, same with the other side. What'd you do, Annie? They were scheduled to take a test on forces and... Did you roll out the VCR? <laughs> I remember when that was like the best day in class. Oh man, the TV and VCR coming out. Oh, 
Oh, nice. That's a good way to do it. That's such a good way to do it, Annie. Yeah, best teacher ever. Took the pressure right off. And then they probably just did really, really well, right? Okay, so this flat side once again, and we'll just do little slices, like half inch would be great. And we'll put that aside and then work on these little guys. So try and do like two or three at a time. And that'll also save you time. So it's nice to kind of get everything set up before you go. Mise en place, friends. Mise en place. This is quite a bit of squash, but I think we'll be able to use it all. We might just have to mix up a little bit of vegetable broth to add in if we don't have enough chicken stock. What do you guys think? Should we add a little bit of coriander or cumin to this? Probably gonna save these two chunks for something else. Just don't think we need all of this. It's gonna make quite a bit of soup. Although it's always good to have soup in the freezer. Who's the Duke of Chicken Pox? The Duke of Mirepoix. <laughs> Heaven over here. Smells so good. Check it out. Getting ready to add the squash. Cumin's always good. Nike, you better calm it just a touch. <laughs> it's only Monday. Save that for Friday. Okay, grabbing a couple of spices. Ooh, a little bit of coriander. I don't wanna put too much. I don't usually do this in the soup I make for Sam. So he's probably gonna be like, what'd you put in it? As long as I don't overpower with the cumin, I think that's our best bet. So just like a pinch of cumin, that's it. And now the squash. Yeah, if heaven had a sound, it would be sizzling vegetables. Please, can someone confirm this? <laughs> Oh wow, it really does sound like sizzling vegetables. Sizzling meats would be better. That would be yours, Rip. That would be yours. Let the squash cook for a few minutes with the spices before we add any liquid. 
Let everything come together. Ooh, and then we have to still add the couple of chilies. Dun, 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 dun. And then while the soup is cooking, we get to open Rook's package. Yeah, that would be so good, Nike. You can take it in whatever direction you want. Seriously, Annie, having soups on hand, life-changing. Sammy's outside building the tool shelf for inside the new work van so everything is up off the ground and organized. Yeah, that's smelling real nice. If I had a bay leaf, I would throw that in here too, but I do not. Okay, I think it's time. We can start with the chicken broth and then add the coconut. Yeah, it was good. It's smelling good from there. I'm glad you can smell it. At least someone knows what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll just add one of those and then add both of these. So a liter of coconut milk. You want a liter of cola. Liter of cola. Ooh, almost spilled it. And now the kitchen went from being like so loud and sizzling to just silence. Next weekend's going to be hell. What's going on? Second indicator grades are going to be due and you have to write 60 comments, one comment for each student. Better get creative. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Let's go. rinsing all the good stuff off to the side of the pot as I pour this in. Pro tip. Good to the last drop. Yeah, none of the foo-foo writing shit. Because then the parent would read <laughs> the comment and be like, this doesn't sound like my kid at all. Nike. 
Yeah, just just use your creative side, Annie. Okay, I'm gonna give this a stir. Just kind of guesstimate how much more chicken broth I should add to this. Hmm. What do we think? I was thinking about garnishing this with a little bit of chili garlic oil and some chopped cilantro. We'll do this and then I'll save a cup and a half of this just in case when we're blending we have to thin it out a bit. Oh, I see a Zach outside. A wild Zachariah is outside with the Sammy. Hello. Hello. How are you? Okay. Okay. That's fine. I'm in a good spot. I don't know. I might have fallen behind. Oh, those are probably good. Those might be portions. This one might be for sure, I think. That fucker's got some worms in him. I think that one's done already, hey? I don't know. So they're all on the bottom. We can crack the cap. Guys, look what Zach found. <laughs> I got one in the bed of my Is it a right porcini? Like what? Yay big, but I accidentally uh, left it in some water and now it's like black. Oh gosh. Not good for bears. Not good. Okay, you got your backer. I can give this a little wipe. It's okay. Oh, you do a tray of meat. Damn, son. Yeah, we it's... probably have a wine rack. Oh shit, eh? <laughs> yeah. That's a sweet one. How'd you make that? It's actually from Wayfair, right, but right. it is so simple. Like, if you look at it, you could easily build it. Why don't you have a power cord and then you can set them up here? That wood was yeah. free for them. There's all pallets. Oh, for sure. For sure. They're just making cheese. bank. That is freaking good. We tried like a little piece of it. Did you? Oh, well, we have to make yeah. sure it's good. Were you hunted? How was it? Yeah. Between both the days, so. A couple of eight footers. Yeah, I'll show you a video one. It's pretty cool. Guys, who's gone sturgeon fishing before? Yeah, I see the head on it though. Yeah. And watch the release when he flips it over. It was like 8.386 like, like eight, eight, kind of thing, depending on how much you lost, with because we couldn't lift it up. Yeah, so like right. 8.386 eight, kind of thing, and then I bet you it was probably close to four feet around wrapping the tape. Like, it's huge. Holy. Here's one I've seen. Noise. This is just going over here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Would you guys 
Okay. Just built that gazebo. Nice. You saw it. Yeah, put these little racks up. There's lots of outside time. It was really nice outside here, so spent a lot of time. Noodling for catfish. I saw a video on that like a couple of weeks ago. It looks really funny. Just sticking your hand and foot in a hole and seeing if anything bites down on it. What? So Annie, how fast does the circle move? <laughs> I guess for each different location, it's a different length of time, right? Okay. Is it not working? Okay, wait. I might have to, do I have to press the ting? Let me do that. There. Just had to do the plug. That's weird. It showed power at the start on this one. Like it showed yeah. it was all orange there, but not there. Freaking weird. Okay. So pieces that are just one piece of meat and then the fat on top. Yeah. That's the flat. So that's like the flatter part of the brisket. Okay. And it's obviously more lean meat there, but you get a little bit more fat on top. Okay. So it's just a little bit more drier, I guess. Okay. So maybe for sandwiches, if you're slicing it, it might like crumble a little bit if you go too thin, right? Okay. Whereas this, you can see that one, that one ain't gonna has much, yeah. like fat meat, fat meat, yeah. right? Yeah. And obviously it's like way more rich. Yeah. And it won't fall apart as quick, but it is so, so good. So I don't know if you want to pack it like one of each together because it's pretty good when you like put them together, right? Because then you get like a little bit of fattiness, a little bit of lean stuff, or you can keep like do a couple do together or you just do them all individual and then you can just take your pick. Yeah, is that a bad idea? Or is that no, better? no, like even this one's good to cut up and like fry up with potatoes and stuff for breakfast. So right. good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'd probably do them all individually. Okay, Dang. do it up then. Yeah, might yeah you as can well. do whatever you want. Do you want a knife or is that a good size for you? Maybe those two I have to cut maybe, smaller. Maybe. Or you'll just go like idea, long big. Yeah, I, totally. Because yeah, they're pretty know. big pieces. Probably like a pound. <laughs> yeah, if you no think about it. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Do you think it's a good idea or yeah. do them the way they are? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You can go totally individual size. And that way, if you're like, oh, I want like a little bit of this one and this one. I'll probably find the way they are though. Like, you... hmm. And that's the thing is even if you open the bag, yeah. at home and like use a little bit of it, just reseal the bag and it'll stay for like a week still. Yeah, exactly. Up to you. Okay guys, are mushrooms being traded for brisket? I suppose. Yeah, it's on your dirty for sure. We're still all learning about them. So we just want to see if they're good or what. Holy Annie, that's the equation. I'm done. Like what? <laughs> You're Mario carding it up with Sam? What? Okay, I'm going to crank up the heat on our soup a little bit. Get that up to a simmer. And then it shouldn't take as long to cook. And then we will need the blender. The other way will get a better like vac on the cut meat. Right, because the bag will go flat on like it. That, yeah, because yeah. yeah. the crust will give you like a good little seal. Yeah. 
You had success better than your previous one to make chocolate babka. Yum. That sounds delicious. I need to start baking more stuff like that again. Annie, that is unit vector notation. This is what my brain's doing. Nope. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Mikey. Okay, where is Rook? Is Rook here? We need to open this. We got fun, fun, fun things to do. Nope, Rook's not here. Okay, perfect. Then we really need to open this then. If we didn't know, it might be fragile. Three exclamation points. <laughs> Don't stick the knife too far in there. Fragile. Packing peanuts? Watch out. I love those little things. Yeah, it's true. I don't want them all over the kitchen. I just vacuumed yesterday. to get some scissors not from like 1990. <laughs> A bit overboard? No, I love it. Nothing is getting in or out of this box. We did it. But wait, there's more. Uh. Bubble wrapper. Break that later. It's true. Hey guys, he wasn't lying. like booby trap Sam for when he comes in the door and then just like pours on his head. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, it's literally just a box of packing peanuts. We got a gift from Rook. First things coming in. Told you this box was hot. And stickers. Yes. Surprise, mother truckers. Let's check this soup, though. No simmer yet. Smelling real good though. Oh, and surprise, a business card. First one. This is what a hot box is, right? This is gonna take a bit, it's, it's pretty perfect. Ooh, I'm loving this label already. Sweet. You know me too well, Rook. Blueberry hell, <laughs> what? <laughs> That might be spicy. Jalokia peppers. 
and Serrano. Delicious. Even matches my shirt, kind of. Yeah, I picked mine already. Thanks, Rook. It's gonna be so good. So, we've kind of been guided by Rook to not just be the people that just like take little dabs of the hot sauce, is we actually wanna like cook with them and use them properly because they are really spicy at the start. So a little bit at a time, as much as I like wanna get into all of these and try them, not the best thing to do. I'm just gonna watch for our pot to come up to a simmer as we're doing this, it's pretty perfect. Jalokia is another name for ghost. <laughs> There's all sorts of good stuff in here. Okay, what's the next one? It looks like a green label. Could that be for Sam? It's not too spicy, Ryan, you've had it. Don't have a lot at first. Some of these are really hot. Ah, burn my face off. Zach, you getting into this or what? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, he's like, no, not a chance. <laughs> I know they are for both of us. You know what? When I was packing up some like brisket that we roasted, it yeah. didn't really seal either. So I think that's fine. I know. That's, that's like, all as good as I could get to. Well, as good as I can get. I mean, I can't yeah. figure out how to get that anymore besides making like a hundred mile long bag. Yeah. No, you're good. You're good. Okay. We're simmering guys. You don't want to boil this though, so just a simmer. Now that we're there, we'll turn this down a touch. There we go. So probably about 20 minutes simmering in there and then we can blend it and eat. Yeah, a spinner sample hot sauces after every donation. I'm in, I'm in. Gotta try them somehow. Yeah, you had to go overboard, it's true. Okay, this one, yeah. Nike was right. Zombie snot. Love the holographic, amazing. So jalapeno, tomatillo, Granny Smith apples, garlic, serranos. That sounds so good. And cilantro. So that's like a very spicy salsa verde. You're at half a bottle. <laughs> Send more. Oh, another card. Yeah. But wait, another one. Holy Rook, what did you do? You have like every single one? Sweet. A fire pen, I'm taking that for work. Or I'll use it to rate our lists here on stream. So Zombie Snot is your favorite one overall? I could see that. Yeah, the apple doesn't help at all. <laughs> okay, they send a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Master Lee, how's it going? Okay. This one's terrifying. You even just look scary. The Hellboy. 
extreme hot sauce. Yeah, that'll destroy you. <laughs> Hi, Masta. Okay, we'll just put that one in like the back back of the cupboard, right, Rook? We don't need that one yet. Can't wait to line these all up for you guys when we're done opening them. Hellboy Extreme. Eighty-five percent Carolina Reapers. Oh my. <laughs> what? Do you want to see me die? Oh, I'll try it. Whether it kills me or not. That's another thing. This wrapping is something else. Nothing's getting broken. You're just getting used to sriracha? Yeah, don't have this then. Oh, you have to try it on stream. It's true. Okay, what's this? Dave's Gourmet Scorpion Pepper. So that's an extra from you, Rook. The heat that stings. What? I really like the label. Like, there's only four ingredients in this. And it's made in Costa Rica. Cool. That ain't in Europe. No, that's for sure. Unless maybe you're in, like, Spain? There's a little bit of spice there. Definitely not France. What is this? This is like a Mickey of hot sauce. You're as bland as they come. <laughs> wow. It's barbecue. Oh, this is going to be good. I'm imagining ribs right now, guys. This, yeah, Master Louie, this is from N.M. Rook, who's in chat right now. He lives in Texas, and he sent us a bunch of his favorite hot sauces. Pappy's Hottest Ride. Hottest ride in town. Cool. That's going to be spicy. It's really, really hot. Okay. I believe it. I mean, by the label, I can see that. There's flames in a couple of places. <laughs> yeah, Halloween appropriate. Yeah, where's the moonshine? <laughs> From grandpa? Or from your uncle? Yeah, both. Both. Oh, man. That you can deliver, Master? Hey. We'll do trades, guys. Your neighbor is into it? Hey, what's this? John Henry's. East Texas, Lil Creek's foot stomping hot sauce. Interesting. I'm liking it. East Texas. Tomato products, vinegar, seasoning, and water. That's all you need to know. He says, have a spice day. <laughs> Pulled pork or chipped beef, I'm in. Okay, what's chipped beef though? Is that like tri-tip sandwiches? Because Tabatai introduced us to that in Oceanside, but chipped beef, that's not a thing here. That's gonna be good. There's still more. Thought I figured, maybe about 17 extra into the bag. 
And it works really good. Works amazing, yeah, it tightens it right up. Holy, okay. Spiritus pepper vodka. Yeah, that's how much extra I'm running on it. And it looks and really like, good. Holy. Deadly to it. Okay. No well, maybe it is worth it then. <laughs> it might be. I've never drank that vodka. You can go blind. No, thanks. Yeah, there's not much more to it, really. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I don't even know if this is the last one. Okay, back to the moonshine. Happy's Moonshine Madness. There it is. See, so hot, you'll go blind. You guys called it. It's too early. I'm not ready. Thanks, Dust. Some New Year's Eve, that's, that was. That is crushed up black pepper, coriander, and I think a little bit of pickling spice. So that's like the seasoning wow. for the pastrami. It's it's really good. You think it would be like really weird and crunchy, but yeah, it's, it's not. Totally right? It's not. It like creates the seal for all the juices to stay in. Yeah, one heck of a Caesar. So what's in here? There's bourbon and catsup. And it even contains anchovies. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Annie. Have a good night. So good to see you. Thank you for gifting that sub to Aviator as well. And guess what? That's the bottom of the box anyways. Now it's just the peanuts. Good. We're just trying to push it to its limits. All right, quick little lineup. Is there one more? I didn't feel it. Nope. Yeah, how much Skullville? Yep, you can just toss it right there. Line them up. Well, we got them like a little while ago, but we haven't been back to this spot since. Yeah. So I don't think they're laying until like February again. Oh, wow. That was like a thing. I know, that was really interesting learning about it. Oh, <laughs> Much spice, so burn. Oh, right. Rook, don't be bummed, believe me. This is gonna take quite a while for us to get through this. Cookie, thank you for gifting this up to a Wiku. Thank you, thank you. One more, oh, Annie, I just saw your sub to vegan gelato on the way out, you sneaker. Thanks guys, love you. We'll see you on Wednesday. Two and a half million Skullville on the hottest ones in here. This one. 
Okay, this is the hottest non-extract hot sauce in the world containing 85% straight up pepper mash. This sauce will wake up the demons in you. It'll burn you alive. It actually went like with extra bags. That's it actually good. Got, like it actually got this whole piece like right flat. That'll stay for a long That's time. Perfect. How good is, how long is this good? It's okay. Oh God, it's okay. Been in the for. At least like six months to a year. I would think probably like a year. Yeah, or something. easily. Like, I feel like salmon and like deer and all that's like generally two years. Yeah. Oh, if you're backpacking it like that, yeah. for sure. Yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> yeah, nobody eats that. <laughs> You guys, okay, should we check on our soup? Let's see what's what. Okay, Rook, all I can say, man, is thank you so much for the goodie box. Very excited to try all of these. And I promise that we will try all of them together. It will be on stream. Definitely amped for those barbecue sauces. And then we'll slowly make our way through the hot sauces. So we don't die. Hot sauce in the soup? Yeah. Choose your own destiny. <laughs> mm. I mean, I did put a couple of peppers in there already. Teach you? Okay, we'll learn together then, because Rook's gonna teach me. Okay, this is nicely simmering. Sweet. You got some meat to take home. Yeah, super excited about that. Honestly, I love those strong sandwiches I was making. That's so freaking good. And it's so nice to have it for work too. Like, yeah. Make it for a couple nights and stuff. That's what I was gonna say. Is just use it first. The rest were deadly though. Sweet. And then if you got a sec, would you mind going through with me just to tell me like which ones you do a lot, like sandwich or whatever? Yep, They're for sure. For it, I don't know. Or... For sure. I mean, this one I'm eating right away, which I assume I can make sandwiches without. That would be perfect. Because it's like kind of a bit of both. Yeah. That one is, it's not as fatty. So what about this one? Mm, probably eating with like something else. I don't know if you want to just put like, this is called the flat. flat. So the flat is just going to be more lean. But really they're both like pretty fatty. Yep. And it, even if this is like too much fat in the middle, just cut it out. Oh, That's yeah, what okay. you can do too. Right. And then, so this one, this one is the point. It's called okay. point. Come on, baby. Yeah. And that one probably not sandwich. You could. It's just, I don't know if you like, like cold fat kind of has a weird feeling in your mouth, right? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, whichever. We'll see. Yeah. I'll know. It's I'll totally up so to I you, man. Anyway, and then... I mean, you that could always fry it up and then put it in the sandwich, right? Oh yeah. Just a little, little bit of heat on it. Mm. If yeah, you okay. want less fat, just cook it out. Right, okay. okay, that piece is like a really deadly piece. I would just like cut that up and eat it. Sandwich to be honest. Or... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Or like snacking with cheese and like veggies and crackers and stuff like that. Kind of think of it as like a charcuterie almost. Okay, you guys are learning about hot sauces. Snack. Yeah, Perfect. snacks. Yeah, that's a good way so to do it. So kind of same with all of these, is like it has so much of the really good crust on it. Yeah. So try and save that for maybe something a bit more special. Yeah, okay. So these ones save it for some other kind of snacks and yeah. stuff like that. And then let's do these two. We'll yeah. actually do for sandwich. Yeah, okay. I think that'll be better. So, okay, I'll label these two as safe or something else. Yeah. Those two as sandwich. 
sandwich, sandwich, sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, snacks and stuff. And then you can decide, like, you can totally do the sandwich on that. It'll be right. amazing. Yeah. I, I didn't want to pack it. Okay, guys. Uh, to, like, Soup is to good to go. I just course. finger tested the veggies and yeah, they fell apart all, in my hands. So we are good to blend this now. So I'm going to bring you guys over here. We'll fill up the blender and get that going. And then we'll pass it through a pot and a fine mesh strainer. Just because of the fresh ginger in here is we want to strain those hairs out because they don't really cook or blend down and we don't want that kind of like hair in our soup for sure. Hi, Trauma. How's it going? Good to see you. Yum. Okay, get that out of there for now. Yeah, like potatoes. So what do we got in the holy hot sauces? Those are barbecue sauces. That's his favorite. Ruck, what up? He's he made it inside finally. Blueberry hell. Yeah. Ah I was like, what? I'm, I'm already sweating just looking at the bottles. The this one, Sam. This one is the hottest like in the world of pepper mash. Two and a half million. Oh, yeah, I already asked Zach. He's he passed. Yeah, no chance. <laughs> so we should put a little bit of the dropper for Jesse in. Uh, she'd be like, she'd yeah. Be like, she'd be like this to her food. Like, yeah, hundred percent. She'd be like, what? Sammy's gonna Did sweat his ass off. No, <laughs> be good, honestly. Okay, so you're just getting getting used to sriracha. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Maybe start going with like some of the Mexican chilies would be a good next step. What do you think, Rook? Habanero. Okay, we're not gonna fill the blender completely full. Sure Just so it doesn't it. spill over. Ooh, gochujang. Yeah, you have to cook it? It's, it's what about the paste, Maybe though? Also, hi, Hojerific. when you're blending hot stuff. Don't go too quick at first because it could blow the lid off your blender.
Look at that color. So nice and like yeah. yellow and orange. Look at this steam. That's some hot soup. We're gonna even the steam in the lid. Okay, so now go like this. Through our other strainer, get everything out. So nice and creamy. This consistency is looking really nice too. So basically just just to coat the spoon, right? When you're doing a blended soup like this. Not too thick, not too thin. I would always suggest for your first time or first couple of times, make it a bit thicker and then thin it out. You don't want to go too thin because then it's hard to add stuff to it to thicken it back up. Okay. Back over here, put this one aside. Pumpkin soup. Yeah, very, very similar, I would say. And then all we have to do once this is blended and strained is we just have to season it. Definitely need more salt. Maybe a little bit of pepper would be good in this too. The root vegetables. And then just bring it back up to heat. I will slice up a little bit of bread and we'll have some toast with our soup. So I knew I'd get in trouble if I said this guys, but this is a meatless Monday. <laughs> We've not done meatless Monday in a long, long time. The squash, yeah, the squash, and there's also carrot in it that's making it so yellow. So butternut squash and carrots, and then celery, onion, garlic. Very, very simple. Hey, cabbage. Coconut and squash are meant to be. I am with you on that for sure. Okay, back over to the blender. Yeah, you're about to up your spice palette. Yay, that's so awesome. Carrots are amazing this time of year, but same with squash. Like I just bought a bunch of different squashes a while ago because they were all on sale and now I am just have to be creative with how I use them up. It's really fun. Go, go, go.
Next. Yeah, totally. Why not? So that's it. So this one was a little bit thinner. That's totally fine. Because our last blend is going to be thick. Try the barbecue sauces on the side first. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll die. Thanks, Rook. Thanks for the warning, man. So we just go like this? <laughs> well, that part was already kind of broken off. So, I think you. I think so. I yeah. think so, man. Fuck, I'm going to Marla for all of them. How the other ones we got? Like, are there green? A little bit more green? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they kind of had like weird flat indents on them, kind of. Okay. They're still. We actually did a little bit of coriander and cumin. What's. Like even, even this? Yeah. That's. But those spices would be so good in here, too. We just didn't want to go like full curry route. But like, look at yeah. look at the bottom of the pot. So easy to clean. Hey, the last blend. And then we'll do one more strain. Which is funny because they last two days apart because they're both the same. But they stayed in my truck over the weekend, yeah. like just in the box. Like, cause I just figured, like the other ones, if you just keep them cool, they're fine. Yeah. Night master, take Little care. Never fine. Well, yeah. Okay, those uh, have extracts. Okay, so Rook, yeah, we'll be careful. Two days after. We'll be careful. So if you see them like this, there. is softer. It's good? Is it like, is it like steak or roast beefy kind of? Or is it more tough? It's like a beef roast kind of? Sweet. Pepper bonsai? What? That would be so cute. Pepper? Okay, Rook, I would say peppers grow so well in Texas. They love the heat. They love to grow in heat. You could easily grow them. Like, even with ours, we don't even get that much extreme heat. And they grew so well.
scrape out all the goods. Don't waste any of that delicious soup. Delicious and I guess somewhat nutritious. I don't think it's too bad for you. There's a touch of fat just from the coconut milk, but I guess you can get the lower fat coconut milk if you wanted. strainer and that'll bring everything through the bottom. Grow food, not lawns. Oh man, cabbage. Can we like start, start a non-for-profit together and like start like building garden boxes in everyone's houses or in their yards that they're, they have all this grass in. The world just needs more food. We don't need grass. Okay, so we didn't really strain too much stuff out of this. Like maybe a tablespoon worth of the ginger pulp and a little bit of carrot that didn't blend. So really not even that much waste, even with us straining it. Okay, mix this all together. One happy pot. Check our consistency. I think we really nailed it. Like, look at this. It looks so smooth and silky. So we're gonna bring that back over to this stove top. I'm gonna let it come back up to a simmer just so it can come together one more time. And then we will taste it, season it with a little bit of salt and pepper, make up our toast, and then we can eat. Oh, I wanna chop a little bit of cilantro for garnish for this as well. So I'm just having some bread with it cabbage. And then someone earlier was asking about maybe some kind of protein we could put with this. I suggested both chicken and either like a cod or a salmon. Yeah, hot sauce. But we're just eating vegetarian tonight. Which all of you guys should be very proud and also shocked that Sammy asked for this. Okay, so low heat. Low heat, we won't wanna burn our soup that we just worked hard on. The last little bit of bread. We will make some toasty toast. Sammy's all right, he's talking with Zach, he's visiting. Zach has been away the last week mushroom hunting, so they have to catch up. Or sorry, not mushroom hunting, sturgeon fishing. He's always mushroom hunting, let's be honest. Oh, is Sammy all right with the soup? Yeah, right? I was like, are you sure? I asked him a couple times just to make sure. It's like, mm, okay. Beans and rice. Guess I need a knife for this too, don't I? Wake it up, Kate. This is some of Beardo's Italian cheese bread. I think we've had this one together on stream before. Sourdough, nice and crusty. Super good. Put that in the bread. Bread butt bin. Anyone else have that? And then they make bread crumbs from it once it all dries out. A bread butt bin. Get 
this toasting. Yeah, no soggy bottom, that's for sure. It's so nice. His bread is amazing. It's like, this is why I'm not baking my own bread because his is just so good. It is not baked in a Dutch oven. He has like a little bread baking oven with ceramic shelves in it, I believe is what it is, or like stone shelves. And that's what he bakes it on. So he can get a nice high heat in it, get a good crust and crumb. Okay, while this is going, clear this out, we wanna chop a little bit of cilantro. I also wanted some chili garlic oil. That's our garnish. So like a little bit of Asian influence for sure. But I just love the color of this. I think it's gonna go so well with this soup. It's fancy, yeah, he, he has done so well for himself. So he bakes in his house. He eventually did really well and converted his kitchen into his little bakery in his house. And now that's what he works out of. Flip it. Nice little choppity chop. This is gonna be more than enough. I'm not a fan of just putting one sprig of cilantro on the soup, even though it looks nice, it's just overpowering. Just to have one huge bite of cilantro with the soup. So we're gonna chop it nice and fine. Boom. No soap soup. Nope. Nope, nope, Rook. Just a little bit of soap on top. But not too much. Yeah, Cabbage, he's actually a ex-cancer researcher who got a couple patents when he was living in Vancouver and basically just kind of sold out on that, decided he wanted to do something he really enjoyed, which is baking, and here he is. Amazingly brilliant person. So, so nice. Okay. Boom. Doesn't he need his meat? No, that's supposed to be circulated. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, toast is going. I didn't have time to. to Look at these bubbles. I didn't have time to backbag it, and I didn't know how, how much of a portion size he wanted in a backbag. No, he was so happy I, with that. Okay, let's try this, guys. Should we use the spoon to match the soup? Yes, even Rook would try it, guys. Mm, I'm glad I'm heating it up because blending it cooled it down a bit. Okay, mm. 
really good kick of ginger and maybe a touch of spice from the peppers, but we definitely need salt. Yeah, we're almost there, Sammy, so don't go anywhere. I'm going everywhere. Don't go anywhere, Sammy. I'm going everywhere. You and Zach both did the same thing. Faded, hi. Sammy's in a fighting mood, I see. Whoa. Holy cookie. 2,500 bits with a messed up notification on stream. Was it worth it? <laughs> Thank you, Cookie, for the biddies. Happy Monday to you as well. You sneaker. You sneaker. Okay, we're almost there with the salt. One more teaspoon. I think in total, this is like four teaspoons of salt. Have one more taste and I think we're good. We might, might have to add either a little bit of lime juice or lemon juice just to get the brightness out of here. Yes. Mm. Yeah, there's a touch of spice from those peppers. Okay. Touch more salt. This is going to start bubbling like crazy here. And I think I just want a little bit of lime juice if I have. Otherwise, I'll do lemon. Okay, lemon it is. Let it be known. The sous vide. Sam just asked me to turn on because we're going to circulate a little bit of Zach's pastrami for him. And then he can take it home. It turned out so well, guys. Okay, that little hint of lemon should be perfect. Brooks, like, I know that sound. Beep, beep, beep. Sammy's got speckles everywhere. Speckled Sammy. That's smelling about right. Hopefully the last taste test. I'll have one more taste, just to be sure. Yeah, I'm good with that. Really good with that. <laughs> he always talks to you guys and forgets that you can't hear him. Oh, okay, I got my toast. I'll butter it. Sammy's going in the, the shower. I will wait to do his. Yeah. He says, yeah. Cold butter on toast. This is a little bit difficult, but it's okay. Luckily, this bread easily holds up to cold butter. Get yourself a sourdough that does that. All right. It's time for the plate up. 
I'm thinking I want to go with a white bowl today. A nice white bowl to show the color of the soup. Need a spoon. Just need to wash a spoon. Can you tell we've been eating soups lately? There's no clean spoons left. But there's tons of other clean dishes. <laughs> All the spoons are gone. Is it soup season or something? Black and orange? The black would make it look more white. That's what I was thinking. Okay. The green spot of herb from the cilantro. Yeah, this, the texture or the consistency of the soup is beautiful. So silky. Look at that. So yellow. <laughs> it looks like an egg yolk. Yeah, with not a lot of white around it. Okay, so chili garlic oil for garnish. Start in the middle and go from there. Actually, we'll start on the outside. Ooh, fancy. Wee hee hee. And then a little bit of our chopped cilantro. I'm gonna go right in this line. I don't wanna cover all this soup because it really is so pretty. And then, a little bit of bread. Gotta clear the area for the photo. How is it, Simon? The photo. Love Sammy's eating methods. No, don't, don't say that to him. The steam from the soup is making the camera go funny. It's like, I don't know what to do. Couple different angles. He says, move it. Okay. What? 
I didn't do or say anything. It was the tap, 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 tap it in. Touch the button. <laughs> Someone set him up with an IV, straight to the veins. Okay. Just hook it to my veins. Mm. Is it very smooth and silky? It's smooth. Yum. Yeah, this is a quite festive soup for the week of Halloween. This would be easy to make for Halloween night. The people that are taking kiddos trick-or-treating, this is an easy one to make before you take them out. Perfectly creamy from the coconut milk, but it doesn't feel heavy like whipped cream does. The little kick from the ginger and the chili peppers in there is super good. And then obviously the squash and carrot bring a really nice sweetness to it. And you can get really creative with garnishes. I think pumpkin seeds would be good on there as well. Maybe croutons even. Cheese, I don't know. Probably. Cheese is always good. We know this. And yeah, if you wanted to add any type of protein, I would say chicken or fish would be really good with it. Shrimp, yep, good one, Sammy. Thanks, Willamini. Lobster, clams, yep. Girthy Pekka, thank you for the follow. <laughs> yeah, sup. <laughs> no worries. You're all right. You're all right. You're welcome here. So much girth. Yeah, sup. We got a porcini. Like that girthy? Yeah, that's girth. The same. It looks like a ball sack. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Planning a CSI Halloween with a pumpkin carving stream? Mm, no, I'm doing that the day before. <laughs> These are the honest answers we're really looking for here on Twitch. Thank you, Girthy. Thank you. Okay guys, this, I just finished making this. This is a coconut, butternut squash, and ginger soup. Yeah, it's in the title, exactly, but it's okay. Some people don't read that. Yeah, it's actually microwave cheese whiz. And I chopped up some parsley for garnish. Very fancy. No, we're being bad today, guys. We're being really bad. It does kind of look like nacho cheese, though. Where's them nachos at? Back. I already have a dashboard open. Let's go to that one. Don't boss me. This is my stream. You're going to start using that stuff. Guys, I'm just checking out who's on, who we're gonna go raid in a little bit here. You're not used to the Twitch updates. Make sure everything's blurry, or it makes everything blurry to you now. You thought it was homemade burger sauce? Oh no. It does look like homemade burger sauce. It does. Like with the, um, the chili oil and, mm -hmm. yeah, it kinda looks like homemade burger sauce. Chili garlic oil is so good in it. A little roasty garlic kick. Mm. 
Got such an easy soup. Just put it in a blender. Done. Bandros is making ramen. We should go do that. Yeah. We've never raided him yet. Let's do Bandros. Okay. It is decided. He's making soup. We just made soup. Yeah, it's a soup night. There's a place in Oxford called Dirty Bones. They do burger dumplings with homemade burger sauce. What? That sounds delicious. I like this. Dirty Bones. I'm going to go check it out. Sam and Kate. Europe 2021. Dirty Bones London? Okay, there is Oxford. Holy. Those look delicious. Menu. Cheeseburger dumplings. Insane. The Mac Daddy. Burger sorcery, right? Sammy's done his first bowl. Look at how it just coats it. Yeah, now you gotta look, right? Sorry. Yeah, their Big Mac burger, madness. It's just like upscale diner food and that is like some of my favorite food. You're trying to stick to Thai food? Why is that? Oh, you need to lose some weight? Yeah, that'll help you for sure. Just get all this spicy stuff, and you'll be good to go. Okay, guys, I'm going to send you off to Fandro's. Awesome little quick stream for me today. And then we'll be back on Wednesday and Thursday doing a couple of different Halloween things. Thanks, a wee coo. It's actually so, so lovely. I should just send all of you that have watched this like a little bit of it. I wish I could share it with you all. And maybe I can one day. Yeah, upscale casual dining. Okay, guys, take care. We'll see you Wednesday or Thursday, hopefully. Otherwise, have a good Halloween during the week. Rook, thank you very much for all the hot sauces in the care package today. So excited to start trying those with everyone. And, <clears throat> ooh, Pepper's getting me. Cookie, thank you for the gifted sub and the biddies as well. Okay, let's go see Fandros. See this delicious ramen. Night, love you guys.